Welcome to Leesburg Today's Daily Update for December 13th. I'm Samantha Bartram. The displays keep on coming to the Leesburg Courthouse grounds. Over the weekend, more traditional displays, a simple Christmas tree and nativity scene, joined Janelle Embry's Letter to Jesus and the Freedom from Religion Foundation's Banner on Atheism. As they have for several years, the Knights of Columbus put up a small Christmas tree adorned with ornaments, while Dennis and Debbie Welsh set up their nativity scene. Both displays face Market Street. Still expected to appear on the grounds in the coming week, are more displays from area atheists, as well as a display depicting the religion of Jediism. This is the week many local business owners have been anticipating, as they hope for more flexibility concerning their signs. Both the County Board of Supervisors and the Leesburg Town Council are expected to take up the issue as part of separate studies. County supervisors were scheduled to hold a public hearing Monday night on changes to the county's sign regulations, rules that go back more than 60 years and are responsible for the lack of billboards on local roadways. That particular provision won't change under the proposed regulations, which are designed to add flexibility in the number, size, and types of business signs allowed. The town council is further along in its review process, and a vote to adopt new rules could come as early as Tuesday night. The final package of changes still has its critics, both business owners who say the policies remain too restrictive, and others who worry it goes too far, particularly in the historic district. Check back on our website for updates. Anyone looking to improve their abilities in the garden should take note. The Loudoun County Master Gardener Volunteer Training Program still has a few vacancies to take advantage of. The program is offered through the Extension Office to train volunteers to assist the urban horticulturist in providing service and educational programs for Loudoun residents. You don't have to be an experienced gardener to become a Master Gardener volunteer. All you need is a desire to learn and give back to the community. Only a handful of spaces are left for the 2011 training program, and those will be filled on a first-come, first-served basis by return of a completed application. For more information, including a class schedule and tuition fees, contact the Loudoun Extension Office at 703-777-0373 or visit loudoncountymastergardeners.org. Finally, we leave you with scenes from Leesburg's Jingle Jam. That new tradition took place Saturday to wonderful audience reception. After a kids jam earlier in the day and a very successful afternoon performance, the evening's concert, which had been sold out for weeks, saw a raucous theater of guests truly enjoy themselves. Best of all, the event raised more than $5,000 for the Juvenile Di- Diabetes Research Foundation. <laughs> Thank you.